Now to build the fill catalog and display data, first we have to add some additional detail into data declaration part. Okay, so we'll write here like for fill catalog or data declaration like ALV fill catalog. Okay, so data we'll write here like GT underscore fcat and like type lvc underscore t underscore fcat this for the fill catalog second is work area js underscore fcat this is like line of like line of gt underscore fill catalog so first we will define this internal table then we are referring this structure as a line of this internal table. Okay. And next I want a layout. GS underscore layout of type LVC underscore S underscore layout. Okay. Then let's say display one variant we were required. GS underscore variant of type di dis variant this is by default in all lv report you can add okay this will not change what will change your internal table may change its structure will change but this will catalog data declaration will be same in all and one more like gs underscore grid of type lvc underscore s underscore leg and one last field i will define here gv underscore count type i okay save check activate no error so this will be common in all the lv report you can use now what we'll do here perform display data double click click on yes so it's the same program so here first we'll build the fill catalog okay so here first always clear the fill catalog internal table gv underscore count gt underscore fill catalog and work area of the fill catalog always clear this and first set the layout gs underscore layout column width opt so meaning of this column width opt means i will explain after displaying the output because see every field length is different some fields of 10 characters some 11 20 30 so when we set this to x so what system will do system will automatically adjust the column width otherwise we have to specify column for each field okay second here in the layout i am going to assign a box field name so if you remember here in the internal table structure i will define one field as cell after showing the output i will explain why i use that so this box field name is cell and always add that in capital letter okay now next i want to set the value for variant so which variant system will use so variant program okay so which variant system will use for this program which program just write sci repid this is the program name sci for system and repid program name now let's build a fill catalog for all the columns okay so first is like gv underscore count for each column i want to increase this count by one initial for first column my value will be one for second this will be two okay so now js underscore f cat fill catalog column position so my column position will be gv underscore count for the first record first field column position will be one and 
my field name. Okay, here we have field name and column, fixed column. Field name is which field I want to display here. First field I want to display EBELN. Okay. Always write this in capital letter. Second field, second here I will write the column text. I will write second here as a column text. What text we want to display for this field? Call text. So let's say right here PO number. This is the field name and this is the field label. Okay, then append gs underscore fcat to gt underscore fcat. Like this, we have to repeat for all the columns which we want to display in the output. This is my first field. Okay, now what we have to do? This we have to repeat for all the remaining columns which we want to display in the output. The second field from my internal table, I want to display a date. So, what is the meaning of a date? PO date. Okay. And then my third field here, I want to display as ERNUM like created by. Okay. So like this, repeat this is repeat this process for all the columns which you want to display in the output. So I will quickly add all the, the columns in the output and then I will add a function module to display the output data. So just be one bit, I will add all the columns here in the same way. So here now I have added all the required columns, EBLP, text, okay, in the same way. And after each record, here clear the work area. Okay, so my field catalog is ready. Column position, field name and column text. Now we'll add a function model to display the record. So for that, click on pattern. Here, now we'll use the function model reuse underscore LV underscore grid underscore display underscore LVC. Okay, if you don't know, type some part, click start and like click on F4. So you can see the list of function model matching with this name. Double click and press enter. Now based on this function model, we can see all the exporting and the tables and importing parameters. Not all are mandatory. Okay, so only mandatory details you have to pass initial level. So always open all the exceptions. And here we have to pass the internal table which we want to display in the output. So my internal table is gt underscore list. Okay, so now we'll come from the bot from the top. Open this how to open, just press control and greater than sign or remove this star manually. Fine. So here first you have to pass the all i underscore callback program. Okay, put the cursor here. Which program name system will run? The current program. Psi REPID. Okay. Now second here you have to pass the IT underscore field catalog. Okay, one is IS underscore layout. Yeah, here is IS underscore layout underscore LVC. So here we have to pass our layout which we have created. GS underscore layout. And in the field catalog, the field catalog which we have built it underscore field catalog underscore lvc here pass gt underscore fcat body this body icon and next we'll pass the variant here it is is underscore variant okay so here we'll pass as the variant and open this and i underscore cell equal to let's say a Okay, so remaining we can are, are optional. In future session, we will learn what is use of other parameters in this function model. Now save, check, and activate. So now the program is activated without any error.
Now let's do some testing. Press F8, enter purchase order number and click on execute. See, we are successfully able to see our output. So based on the columns we have added in the field catalog, we can see PO number, PO date created by all the fields we can see in the output. And now here the metal ID is leading zero. Like actual ID is 2071, but this is an internal number. So here we are seeing the leading zeros. So how to remove leading zeros from the vendor ID and metal ID? Very small syntax. Go inside the field catalog. Where is my matnar? Here is my matnar. So in GS underscore FCAT, there is one column, no zero. So we have to mark this no zero as X. The system will not display the leading zeros and will add this same to the vendor. Where is my vendor? This is my vendor ID. Save, check and activate. Again, execute the same purchase order number. See this time system is not displaying the leading, leading zero. And now once the output is there, you can do whatever you want. When value is not there, I have to check whether I selected or not. Okay, let me check whether I selected means or not. Mench M E I N S. Okay, let me check here from the E B L P. Okay, maybe the data is not there. So what we'll do now? Okay, now let's see some other things. Now once the output is there. Now, initial all the sequence is coming based on the field catalog. Okay, so now let's see you want to by default see some of these. So select this and click on some. So you can see some here. Okay, now what is my comment? I don't want unit and measure. So I will right click here and click on height. Okay, and second what I want, I want to sort this based on the purchase order number. So I will click on sort ascending. Now let's see. Now assume our requirement is whenever system display the output, by default you want to see the output in this format. Okay, so how to do that? Click on save layout and here give the layout name. Let's say default. Mark as default layout. Here we have two options user specific or default. So user specific means, take example, in your company, there are 100 users. So if you mark this as a user specific, only for your user ID, this layout will come. But if you mark this as default, for all the user, this layout will come. So I will mark here as default, press enter, press enter, okay. Now the default layout is set. Now just go back and execute again. See, now I don't have to select and click on sum and sort PO number because I have already saved my layout. So like this, you can create multiple layouts. And based on your requirement, once you have multiple layout, click on select layout. And if you can see different layout here, you can select the required one from here. Now here, as I'm entering one purchase order number, just execute the same without giving any selection criteria. Now see the output. See, we can see the output for all. Okay, like this, we can develop the LV report. See, now this time I'm entering only single metal ID. So system will display, record only for this metal because the selection character in very close, we have added this. Okay. And for test cases, suppose if you are doing multiple testing and for future reference, if you want to save this number, so what you can do, just click on save button, save as a variant, give the variant name, click on save. So next time, whenever you are executing this report, so you can see one icon here, get variant. If you click this, select the value. So by default, or all test criteria will come here, will appear here. Now execute the report. Okay. So in this way, we have successfully 
done with a session on creating the ALV report for the purchase order details. Now in the next session, we'll learn how to assign a transaction code. As, as a developer, we can run this report in ac 38 But when you want to assign to a user, so we have to use some T code. Like I explained in the earlier session, MM60. This is one transaction code. So like this, we have to assign our program to a transaction code. That we'll see in the next session.